sound is a form of energy. The rate at which this sound energy comes to you is described by what we call sound intensity. A healthy human ear can hear a sound intensity as low as 10 to the minus 12th watts per meter squared. That's what we might call incredibly quiet. The rustling of leaves on a sidewalk has an intensity of about 10 times as great. A whisper is a hundred times as intense. But quiet radio music playing in the background, that's about 10,000 times as intense. So let's think about that. Quiet music, from an energy standpoint, is about 10,000 times as intense as the smallest sounds we can hear. So why doesn't it feel like 10,000 times as intense? Answer, the human ear is sensitive to a very, very broad range of sound intensities. Only 10,000 times as intense is nothing. My voice right now is about a million times as intense as the smallest sound we can detect. Noisy city traffic, that's about 10 million times as powerful. What about loud music at a nightclub? Well, that's about 100 billion times as intense. We're talking a huge range. The human ear is designed to deal with a very huge range of sound intensities. We're talking big numbers. And big numbers, as you know, can be unwieldy. So that's why sound level is typically given in units called decibels. A decibel is defined as 10 times the log of the ratio of a given sound to the smallest sound. Let's do an example. The rustle of leaves has a sound intensity of 10 to the minus 11th watts per square meter. Take this and divide it by the smallest sound we can hear, which is 10 to the minus 12th watts per square meter, and you get 10 to the first. Recall that when you divide numbers with exponents, you just subtract the exponents to get the answer. So, what's the log of 10 to the 1? Logs are actually quite simple. With a log, you're merely asking, to what power is 10 raised? Do you see here that 10 to the 1st is 10 raised to the 1? So, to what power is 10 raised? The answer is 1. The log of 10 to the 1 is 1. So, take 10 times that, and you have 10 decibels. The intensity of rustling leaves is about 10 decibels. Let's do another example. How about a whisper? 10 to the minus 10 divided by 10 to the minus 12 is 10 to the 2. What's the log of 10 to the 2? The answer is 2. 10 times that, and you have 20 decibels. By the same math, quiet music is about 40 dB. My voice is about 60 dB. A busy street, which is 10 times as intense, comes in at 70 dB. A blaring disco comes in at an astounding 110 dB, or decibels. And this brings up the idea of loudness. While sound intensity is a physical characteristic, there's still a lot of biology at work in our perception of that sound. Generally speaking, the more dB, the louder it sounds. But not always. You see, the human ear is not equally sensitive to all sound frequencies. Take a look at this chart plotting sound intensity to frequency. The curves are called equal loudness contours. Say you're listening to 1,000 hertz at 20 dB. You'll hear it to be so loud. Then someone starts playing a 100 hertz sound. Now, how many dB are needed so that you hear the 100 hertz just as loud? You might think also 20 dB. Here, listen to this. I've got 1,100 hertz playing at the same intensity. 
We're much better at detecting 1,000 hertz than we are at detecting 100 hertz. And that's why you're likely hearing the 1,000 hertz as being louder, even though it's coming to you with the same amount of energy. From this graph, we see that you would need to play the 100 hertz at about 50 decibel in order for us to think it's at the same level of loudness. Like this. From 20 to 50 decibels, that's 1,000 times as intense. So 100 hertz needs to be 1,000 times as intense for us to think it's just as loud. Note how the equal loudness contours tend to flatten out with higher dBs. Study this graph carefully, and you'll see that 100 hertz only needs to be about 10 times as intense to sound just as loud as 1,000 hertz up there at the 80 dB sound intensity level. So this is why the thump-driving bass frequencies tend to pop out when the music is turned up. At the higher volumes, our sensitivity to the low-range frequencies is much closer to that of the mid-range frequencies, and so we hear it better. When the music is quiet, those bass notes, they seem to disappear. They're still there. It's just that we can't hear them as well, for reasons totally biological. Of course, please be careful. Listening to sounds at 80 dB and above for any extended period of time can cause permanent hearing damage. This can include hearing loss, as well as a pesky lifelong ringing in the ear, a condition called tinnitus. Take good care of your hearing, and your hearing will take good care of you. Good energy. Mm -hmm.